freaking noisy out here. You can barely hear the birds. The highway is only a couple hundred yards behind me. This is my chill spot where I've been chilling while on lunch break. Over here, I've been cutting a limb. Yep. Figure have me one more cigarette. And I'll uh, head back up there. And we can get working on the rest of this day. It's kind of cool out today, so. I'm gonna get cold sitting here too long. Didn't bundle it up as much as I could have. See, I like to change directions when I'm cutting. The angle of approach makes a difference. Get a large surface area. Start not biting as much, so you change your angle. And boom. <laughs> that wasn't too slick, was it? Put a dull spot in my blade for nothing. This blade ain't that sharp. Might have to do some work on it. It's factory edge, so... Yeah, I'll probably have to get on that. Maybe I'll do that later tonight. Ozark Trail. I'm not sure if it's full tang or not. This is just my EDC everyday carry bag. I use it for when I walk to work. Carries my lunch, my water, cigarettes, tools, whatnots. I haven't put medical in here, but I intend to soon. But my other bags have been top priority pretty well squared away but last night my dad tells me you ain't got no sharpening stone in there I'm like yeah I need to upgrade my weapons care <sighs> yeah put me together a little bit nicer kit with my cleaning rods and I already got brushes and oil and whatnot in a kit in my bag, but I definitely need my rods if I'm cleaning my rifle, because I am a rifleman. One thing I thought would be nice is one of those, uh, it's like a rope. See people use them to clean their rifles, it's like a rope. Well, that, that might be something I should look at. It fit in my bag better than those rods. Gotta go to town tomorrow. Maybe I'll uh, go extra early or something. I don't know. Um, maybe I ought to check the hardware store out. Probably have to pay twice as much. Yeah. Just randomly thinking. This used to be an old railroad bed right here. Some dipshit cut some trees down, left them lay over top of it. That's all he did is cut the trees down and leave them all over the damn property. No follow through apparently. I mean, hell, you can see this one like right here. That's a dangerous one. Hell, this one I'm sitting on is dangerous. I mean, you just look around me. I got this whole tree around me. Yeah. 
then right up here is that it i think that, yeah that's that's where it's broke it's got a split there it's hinged from where he cut it just kind of sitting here i mean it really could go any time i think i'll be all right though and if not if not then then not used to live on this highway behind me really not too far from where I'm sitting right now uh, you get used to the noise of it uh, these days you know I look around at the world and all the stuff I see and hear out of people and the news yeah grid down stuff is kind of crazy crazy sounding sometimes but when it comes down to it I'd rather hear the sounds of the birds than the cars and the trucks the machineries the air conditioners the gas going through the pipes and the furnaces moving I don't care for those sounds anymore I know life would be harder without all the energy we have at our disposal, but I truly do believe life can be better. When you find out what's really important for you as a human being. When you have very little distractions from TV shows go away. The influence of social media. What do you got, love? God. Family. Nature. An opportunity to connect something that might actually be real. It's nature. The way things are before man touches it. That's about as real as it gets in this world. 